Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentine Jr. and today I am actually super excited for this unboxing because I am finally unboxing because I've been anticipating this moment for a long time. Ever since I seen the big reveal of this engine, I've literally wanted to get her. We have Daisy. I think this is insane, first of all. Look at how long she is. So she is extraordinarily long. Like this is insane. I think she's either longer than Gordon and Henry. I'll see though, of course, because Gordon is long and Henry is long, but that's because of their tender, but she's just long just by herself. So that's what's crazy. This is gonna be so exciting because ever since I was like really young, when I used to play GTA 4 on my dad's PS3, I really loved limos for some reason. I loved vehicles that are long. It just appeals to me. I like how limos look, they're so cool. And I think Daisy looks high class as well. Well, let's just get to opening this. Of course, we have a bunch of different engines on the back. We also have... <laughs> Daisy's little portrait here that showcases her eyes moving side to side. This is 8 plus. Peter Sam was 14 plus, of course, because he is way smaller. I think it's funny that they have like CGI design. I remember the old Bachman boxes. They were so cute and nostalgic. Now we have this new and improved like uh, light blue instead of the dark blue that we had. Here we go. Oh my god, this is crazy. She's about to flop out. She's about to flop out, guys. Guys, she's about to flop out. <gasps> she's literally in my hands. Literally in my hands. Literally in my hands. That's kind of crazy. So that's what I was expecting. For me, I was like, she is so extraordinarily long. I was like, how is she gonna run on rails? And, you know... I've never seen Bachman do, because I only follow along with the Thomas and Friends range. I'm pretty sure having wiggly bogeys while also having wires connected is like nothing for them. But this is the first ever Thomas and Friends engine that has wiggly wheels that have power, you know? So I was like, how are they going to do that? But they did it really well. And it seems like there's like a certain amount of how much it can turn. There's like a little roundabout here under her. You can't see it, but this is so cool. Oh my God, look, 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 guys, 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 look, look, look. Her buffers are white, like the Hit Entertainment buffers. I, let me tell you, I loved how the buffers looked like in Calling of Legends. They're so cool. She literally has white buffers and she has that amazing CGI face. Amazing CGI face. This is so amazing. This is insane. She's just here, like she's just here, like she's just here, like she's just here, like. Oh, only the back wheels are powered. Only the back wheels are powered. The front ones are not because they're rolling. The front ones are freewheel. We have the little floating, like um, what is that? The pipe, the thingy, pipey, the pipe that uh, mm, I don't know what's called, but it has a little the CGI floating pipe. All the CGI engines have that floating pipe for some reason. So here she is next to Peter Sam. She has amazing decorations. Her yellow lining is very crisp. Of course, the windows, a lot of people did not like the windows because they are that shiny, glittery silver. But I personally like how they look. It looks really, I guess, sleek, you could say. The silver also comes on the top as well. And her makeup is very pristine. Of course, it's her CGI makeup. And as I said, I love the white buffers. They're so pretty. And then the side, you can see how ginormous she is compared to Peter Sam. Even the height difference. These are both on rails. So that's how it would look like on rails next to each other. The back, she has four lamps and whatever that black thing is. I actually don't know what that black bar is. I never got to figure that out. And then of course the tailpipe, tailpipe right there. Door decorations all over the side because she does have four doors. And then I forgot to mention the lamp on this front as well. Of course her eyes move. I don't know if you could notice her eyes moving. Oh, maybe I can do that. There we go. Her eyes move back and forth just like all the others. Bachman. 
but the narrow gauge engines, they're too small for having moving eyes. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. Tell me what you think in the comments below, what you think about her Bachman model. I personally give it a 10 out of 10. It is so clean and sleek and it is very different from any of the other models that I've collected. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.